In this video, we are going to make an acrylic nightlight. It looks like it's engraved, but we are gonna make it using the Cricut Joy Extra and some vinyl. Hey, I'm Sarah, you're watching Creative Ramblings. I wanna thank Cricut for sponsoring this video and the project we're gonna make today. These acrylic night lights are really popular. You can buy them on Etsy and add a custom name, or you can engrave them and do all kinds of different things. But when you buy a personalized item or you engrave acrylic, it can get really expensive. There's a couple different ways to engrave acrylic. The first is with a CO2 laser, which is a really big investment. If you don't have one, you probably don't want to buy one just to make a gift. The second way to engrave acrylic is with a Cricut Maker and the engrave tip. It is a really cool feature. If you have the maker or you want to engrave a lot of things, it's a great option to go. But we're making a value piece here and I am gonna use my Joy Extra. This machine is a amazing value. It can cut up to an eight and a half by 11 piece of vinyl on a mat. Um, it also accepts smart materials and it has a print then cut function. So you can do every popular project out there with the Joy Extra, including making this engraved looking nightlight. So let's dive into the project and let me show you what you need. So you're going to need a machine. I'm using the Joy Extra with the fine point blade that comes with it. You can do this project with any machine. You're also going to need a cutting mat and the vinyl that goes on to this clear acrylic piece is a frosted permanent vinyl. A few extra tools that are gonna make your project easier. You're gonna need some transfer tape, a brayer, a weeding tool, and a scraper. So we're gonna go over to Cricut Design Space and we are gonna design a nightlight just like this, but we're gonna add a name to it. When you have something like the Joy Extra and a few materials on hand, you can make all kinds of custom gifts in minutes. Cricut Design Space is free to use. There are some elements that I may pull on today that are included in the Cricut Access Program. If you have not tried out Access yet, it's a monthly subscription and it gives you access to tons of different fonts and images. There is a Cricut Access free trial. If you wanna check it out, grab that link down in the description. All right, without further ado, let's head to Design Space and start creating our nightlight. In Cricut Design Space, I'm going to navigate to a blank canvas. And the first thing I wanna do is create a shape that is the same size as my blank. The acrylic night lights we're working with measure five by five inches. This is gonna help make sure that my design is gonna fit perfectly on the acrylic. Now I'm gonna search for an image to put on here. I love that Design Space has literally a million images I can search through to find the perfect one for this custom night light. So I need to narrow that down a little bit. I want something that says sweet dreams and I'm going to narrow down the operation type to cut only. Then I'm going to search for editable text because I want to see if there's something that already has the text in here for me. This allows you to change the text to whatever you want. And I really like this one right here. So let's add that to the canvas. So anything in blue, I can change. I'm gonna leave the Sweet Dreams as it is, but I'm gonna change the name Emma to Nora Grace. And now to play around with these a little bit, I just need to ungroup them and I wanna move that name down just a little bit. So I really like how that all looks. I can pull it all together, make sure it's aligned perfectly. And now I'm gonna group it back together again. I'm just gonna tweak it a bit to make sure it fits in this square. And that looks really good. So now I'm ready to cut. I'm gonna delete that piece right there. I'm gonna select everything and I'm going to attach it. This just makes sure that it all cuts in the same space. I'm gonna switch over to my Cricut Joy Extra and make it. 
So this is going to be cut on a mat and I'm just gonna cut out a piece of vinyl to fit that. And now we're gonna search for the right material. I'm gonna scroll down to vinyl and this is premium vinyl. There's a lot of options for premium vinyl and I'm gonna choose frosted opaque. Always pick the right material. It's gonna adjust the pressure perfectly for what you're doing. Now we can go load it up into the machine. So I've got the cutting mat here for the Joy Extra. And we're using this frosted opaque vinyl. It looks like frosted glass or like engraved acrylic. So I've cut a piece to the perfect size. We're just gonna put it on the mat. I wanna make sure there's no bubbles so we get a really good cut. And then we just load it into the machine. Now we can go ahead and weed, and I like to leave it on the mat while I weed it out. Now that everything is weeded, it's a little bit hard to see, but everything is definitely weeded here, we are gonna use a piece of transfer tape. And I've just cut a piece down to fit perfectly over the top here. You always want to avoid bubbles when working with vinyl, but here especially you want to avoid bubbles because we're put, putting this on clear acrylic and any bubbles that are left over are going to show. Now I only pulled up a little and I'm gonna place it right over the edge. And then I can slowly peel it back. This is just gonna ensure that there's no bubbles. Perfect. Always use a scraper tool to go over the top really well and make sure that transfer tape sticks to your vinyl. And now we can pull it off the mat. On the back here, I'm gonna scrape it down one more time. And now we're ready to put this onto acrylic. So let's grab that nightlight. This is the nightlight and this is linked down in the description if you wanna take a look. It comes with a base and I have added batteries to my base, but it does come with a USB cord so you can plug it into a wall outlet or anything with the USB port. Then it comes with this piece of clear acrylic. It has protective coating on both sides, so it looks a little frosty right now. We're gonna leave that on as long as we can. This sits right in here, and then when you turn it on, it lights up. It also has a remote that comes with it so you can change this color. So we're just gonna pull off one side of the acrylic, and I'm gonna use my weeding tool and start on this bottom part here that isn't going to be seen, just in case I scratch it. Acrylic can scratch pretty easily. And now it's time to add our vinyl. So I'm gonna flip this over and pull the backing off. And now it's time to stick it to the acrylic. And I'm gonna be really careful, make sure I line this up perfectly. So that's looking really good. Now I'm just gonna scrape it really well. Make sure I get out any bubbles that might be in there and get a really good stick. All right, I think I've got this on there really good. So let's start pulling it off and make sure it is all stuck. Oh, and it's looking fantastic. So it's looking really good. This is gonna be so much easier to see once we get the light on it. But I'm gonna take my scraper one more time and just make sure everything's on there really, really good. So before we add it to the light, we just need to pull that final piece of backing off the back so it is nice and crystal clear. 
And a look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Let's get this in the light. So these lights are pretty easy to use. They just have a base and you slide this in and then we turn it on. How cute is that? It looks like a custom engraved nightlight, but we did it using the Joy Extra and some frosted vinyl. These nightlights are going to make a great custom baby shower gift, and I did it using my Joy Extra. If you want to make custom gifts that look high-end, a Cricut Joy Extra is going to be a great investment for you. I highly recommend taking a look at a bundle. It's going to come with the machine, the cutting mat, some tools, and a bunch of different materials to try out, all at a really great price. It allows you to try a bunch of different crafts, figure out what you really like, and then you can go ahead and buy more of the materials that work for you. Links to all of the products, including the night lights that we use today are down in the description. So you can go ahead and take a look and start on your own custom nightlight project. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this project, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing. I am here every week with new videos, helping you move forward on your creative journey. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.